all of you on Saturday Night Live can go straight to hell over this. You owe this man a profuse apology. And here's the real atrocity of all this. It wasn't even funny. For one day, the left and the right finally came together to agree on something. That I'm a dick. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Dan Crenshaw. Uh, oh, come on, man. <laughs> no, hold on. Uh, you may be surprised to hear he's a congressional candidate from Texas and not a hitman in a porno movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know he lost his eye in, in war or whatever. <laughs> whatever. A cast member, you know, Pete Davidson mocking Dan Crenshaw. He is a former Navy SEAL turned Republican congressional candidate. Saturday Night Live getting a lot of backlash. And that is so disgusting and despicable to all of the wounded warriors in this country who have lost limbs, eyes, their lives. 100% tasteless. This is exactly what Republicans have complained about with liberal Hollywood. It gives fuel to that fire. You can't complain yeah. about Donald Trump and his indecency. Yeah. And then I'll think jokes like that are funny. Yeah. So, uh... And what I'm sure was a huge shock for people who know me, I made a poor choice last week. Uh, I, uh, no, I did. Uh, I, made a, I made a joke about Lieutenant Commander Dan Crenshaw, and on behalf of the show and myself, uh, I apologize. No, but I mean this uh, from the bottom of my heart. It was a poor choice of words. Uh, the man is a war hero, and he deserves all the respect in the world. And if any good came of this, Maybe it was that for one day, the left and the right finally came together to agree on something. That I'm a dick. <laughs> you think? Lieutenant <laughs> <laughs> Commander Dave Crenshaw, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for making a Republican look good. Uh, you gotta stop saying that, man. <laughs> You've been saying it all day. I just wanted to say, uh, for people that don't know, uh, the reason you're wearing an eye patch right now is that you lost your eye to an IED in Afghanistan during your third combat tour. And uh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Pete. I appreciate you saying that. You could squash Pete Davidson like a grape, obviously. OK, <laughs> so I mean, it's not even a fair fight, right? He's punching up. So we good? We're good. Apology accepted. Just keep breathing. <laughs> I'm just going to let it ring, because that's rude to answer. Let's just let it go to voicemail. No, it's cool. Ariana Grande is cool, man. Yeah. Oh, do you know her? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that... There's a lot of lessons to learn here. Not just that the left and right can still agree on some things, but also this, Americans can forgive one another. We can remember what brings us together as a country and still see the good in each other. This is Veterans Day weekend which means that it's a good time for every American to connect with a veteran. Maybe say thanks for your service, but I would actually encourage you to say something else. Tell a veteran, never forget. When you say never forget to a veteran, you are implying that as an American, you are in it with them, not separated by some imaginary barrier between civilians and veterans, but connected together as grateful fellow Americans. We will never forget the sacrifices made by veterans past and present. And never forget those we lost on 9-11, heroes like Pete's father. So I'll just say, Pete, never forget. Never forget.